Okay, so hello YouTube. Uh, I have an idea. Now, uh, this one is not working, so whatever. However, sorry. However, this one is. So I came up with an idea. Since I do have to return this to a friend of mine, uh, well, since it is his, I came up with an idea to change the sounds that are, well, inside this device. So when you turn it on. The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. However, there is nothing much you can do. This is this USB is only for charging, <clears throat> so there is nothing much that you can actually do with it. However, I did find out. Just a second. that this device has this little chip which I thought to myself is a BIOS of some kind so I kind of figured it out that every figured it out that every sound is probably inside this chip hmm. uh, so I did uh, dump it and I have it on my computer now Hmm, let me show you the idea behind everything. Okay, so, sorry, this room is a bit messy, so yeah, I uh, dumped the original file, which is in here. Now I will be opening opening it with uh, Hex Editor, just to show you. Hex Edit, Hex. Now the problem with this thing is that, uh, well, I don't know what to do with it actually, however, I get an idea, and just open the original dump, that, uh, well, this should be, this is an mp3 player, obviously, and uh, the idea is that, uh, well, inside of it uh, is an mp3 file encoded into this chip. So, every mp3 file, for example, I have it in here, uh, no, I don't, just a second. Let me get an mp3. Okay, so this is an mp3 which a friend of mine made. He's a musician, whatever. So I decided to open an mp3 file uh, inside of Hex Editor. And as you can see, it starts with id3. So if I'm right, I will be copying id3. Uh, the, uh, uh, this encoded file in here should start with id3. So let's search for id3. Okay, maybe down. Okay. And I actually found file or the beginning of file which is called id3. So if I copy everything and there is a lot of scrolling to do and I copy it up to this uh, next id3 which I think is the next file and I will be creating a new file within the hex editor. Okay, paste, yes, yes. And I will be saving this file as, save as, hexedit1.mp3. Now, if I'm right, and I think I am, this will actually be uh, the mp3 from, uh, from this uh, device. Let's see. It is music play motor. Now, I need to open this thing within a Winamp or Audacity, Audacious, Audacity, Audacious, no, Audition, Audition, Audacity, oh no, in some editor to see what are the specs of this file and I will be overwriting it. Now, this is the first file, I'll be calling it one, just to see. Music play motor. Okay. No, we'll see it. Okay, oh, it's used by Hex Editor, just a second, close, okay, uh, move, so this is the first, uh, first one, okay, close, I don't need this one. Now let's copy the other one. Let's see if I'm right. Okay, this is number two. 
new okay yes yes file save as 2.mp3 desktop okay this one is I'll be calling this number one number two radio mother <laughs> this is actually working awesome now let's close this one let's see which is the uh, third one okay file save as 3.mp3 <laughs> if this thing works <laughs> okay so uh, yeah and this is the fourth I think there are four modes only not quite sure though find the end of the file probably up to here file save as 4.mp3 I'm not quite sure whether this one will work or not Basically that is it, there are 4 mp3s that I will be changing. So off to the audition to see if I can uh, see what these files are made of. So I've opened the file and uh, it looks like this. Music play motor. Now I will be changing all 4 files with something uh, more <laughs> sinister. <laughs> okay, be right back. Oh. I've uh... Who's the slimy little communist shit twinkle toe cocksucker down here who just signed his own death war? I kind of modified the uh, sounds. Now let's see whether I can put it back inside and whether it'll work or not. So wish me luck. So I am back on my trusty Windows XP machine and I will be actually deleting the uh, <clears throat> unnecessary files. So, uh, just a second, I need to paste, okay, the new ones, okay, let's see whether this thing will work or not, let's copy number one, okay, let's have this thing in order, all, copy, now I'll be, I'll be actually deleting everything just to see where, okay. I will be deleting everything. Wait, I need to find the, the first ID3 file. Okay. So this is the first, and this is. Let's make a print screen out of it just in case. Where is the print screen? Print screen. Because Microsoft Paint the best tool ever okay now this thing will take some time to select all this is the fourth file I believe okay uh, uh, uh. and delete okay, this is, yes okay Uh, this was a bad idea and this was a bad idea because I needed to select I need to leave ID3 and just so that I know where to paste hmm. oh bloody hell I need to go from the beginning okay mm -hmm. now we wait Mm -hmm. I, 
Ah, I think I was maybe or that. Where did the thing, bloody thing go? Did I miss it? I think I missed it. Okay, yes. Delete. So, the first thing is Control A, copy. Now, delete, 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 delete. Paste. Okay, now, close. Now, 2A. Paste. Close. 3A. Paste. And 4A. <laughs> Paste. And save. This should be it. I should be probably able to program that chip now. Well, let's see. And yeah, I have inserted the uh, chip into the uh, programmer slot. Okay. Now I actually do not need the original dump because I have uh, the other chip. So, I uh, fuck it. I should have said like saved it as uh, another. But what can you do? Start. Alrighty then. Erase. Load and original dump. Okay. Program. <laughs> Done. Verify. Just in case. <laughs> okay, so let's solder that chip back together and see whether it'll work or not. <laughs> I obviously won't be soldering it uh, onto a uh, onto uh, the one that's actually working fine but on this one that is uh, faulty just so that I can see whether it will make it will play the first sound I have in there so if it will I will be removing the chip and soldering it onto the uh, Okay, this actually looks soldered. Now let's see whether it is or it isn't. Uh, nothing is happening. Hmm. But it does look soldered on. Is the battery empty? I don't think so. Uh, let's try and enhance these solders. This one looks a bit bodgy, I suppose. Okay. Waiting for so waiting for soldering gun to heat up. Ah, this thing looks soldered. No wait. The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. <laughs> no, I didn't find that wave. But the chip is working, which is good. Hmm. <laughs> I obviously did not copy <clears throat> every MP3. Bloody hell, be right back. Okay, okay, so I found another um one that I missed, but I didn't find the initial, the Bluetooth device is ready to pair. So we'll be leaving that as the original. I could probably do some digging, but uh, <laughs> this was just an experiment and I'm just not in the mood for it. But now I will be uh, soldering this onto the uh, device that actually works 
And let's see whether <laughs> this thing works or not. Okay, so I wouldn't call this a success because uh, I kind of uh, took longer MP3s and this obviously reads the memory location. So, well, listen to it. The first one is the default. The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. And the radio actually says. Law is dead. Law is dead. Unfortunately, this thing won't suffice. So, uh, back to the editing and uh, see you soon. So, uh, I will be placing this chip in place and let's see whether this thing works or not. Hmm. Okay, some stench later. The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. Okay. Playing radio. <laughs> Ox input. <laughs> it's working. The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. Well, basically that is it, but yeah. Playing radio. <laughs> it's working. <laughs>